Hi VT, thank you for joining me and thank you for answering some uh, questions about yourself and, uh, and your art. Thank you for being here. So let me start with asking you how you would describe your art and what you exactly do. <laughs> Good question. Um, I think my art is uh, more or less abstract, mm -hmm. so I have different styles, um, very different styles. Sometimes it's, uh, it looks like a landscape, mm -hmm. it comes out, or sometimes it's more figure, um, like squares or something mm -hmm. like that. Shapes. Shapes, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I really use a lot of different materials, mm -hmm. so, and I make many, many layers. Okay. Yeah. So what are your favorite materials? Oh, I cannot say. Um, I really cannot say. Um, I like very much powder of uh, stone powder. Mm -hmm. There are many different, and I use different colors, like blue or green, or yellow. Mm -hmm. Because if you use it and then you combine it with the colors, it, it always gives another another color. Mm -hmm. uh, so this I really like. Okay, great. So you're experimenting a lot. Yes, very much. Okay, fantastic. And where do you take your inspiration from for your paintings? Oh, sometimes um, it's just the nature. I like the nature and the colors of the nature. I remember when I was in Namibia. Mm -hmm. There were so great colors, I couldn't speak for half an hour just to, to see it, to feel it, and this uh, is uh, really great for inspiration. And another thing, I, I like old houses, the front of the houses which are damaged, or um, the floor in, mm -hmm. in, in a church or so, then I made sometimes like a, a zoo with my photograph, mm -hmm. with photograph, and I use this as an inspiration. Mm -hmm. But it's not that I have a photo and then I paint, it's more like it's inside from in my in my feelings, and mm -hmm. then it, it just comes out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, is, was there a moment in time or a situation when you knew that you wanted to become an artist, or has that always been there? <laughs> Probably it has been there always. Um, uh, I worked before also in in a, in, a, in the uh, graphic mm -hmm. in the graphic. Uh, Industry or industry, yeah. yeah. So, so I was always um, I, I was I worked also as a writer. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's also creative. And, yeah. um, and it was just then the moment to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Great. So you've always been very expressive with with all the the works that yeah. that you've done. Great. Um, can you tell me something about your creative journey that maybe not everyone knows? Um, I work often in the night. Okay. Yes. Um, so sometimes I start and then it, it's like a flow mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I see, oh my God, it's four in the morning. <laughs> then I say, then I think, shall I go home or shall I continue because, yeah, it's morning Yeah. and I'm really creative in the night. Okay. Yes. And then it's like a, a process which is very strong and come out and then uh, it's Yes, it's like an explosion sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So you get really absorbed in the process and forget time. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of music and yeah. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So as an artist, or, but also as, as a person, how would you describe yourself? And I mean, you already alluded to how you like to work, um, but is there is there anything else in terms of how you are that translates into how you have the process with your paintings or how you work? Yeah, sometimes I I can say I'm, I'm I, I don't know how to say in English, so I'm not, I think sometimes it's it's not enough. Mm -hmm. So because I'm, I'm somehow like a perfectionist. Okay. But in, in art, I, I like, if it's not perfect, then it's perfect. Okay, so that's why our, also my inspiration, the, 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 the floors which are damaged or the, mm -hmm. the, the walls which are damaged, this is mm -hmm. not perfect and I like this. And sometimes for me it's like, I like to be perfect, mm -hmm. but, but it's not okay if I'm perfect. Okay. So, and then that's why maybe also I made many, many layers, mm -hmm. layers and, uh, and filing, then it's not perfect, but then it's perfect. Okay. So, yeah. It's, it's a difficult, uh, I suppose, point to say when are you when is it done yeah right yeah so 
a, a painting is done if the painting says to me it's now it's it's done. Mm -hmm. So each line is too much. Yeah. And, uh, it's like a conversation, a conversation mm -hmm. with, the, with the painting, and somehow it talks to me. Um, if I if I paint, I always uh, feel the the canvas. I mm -hmm. go over with my hands and and I feel the paintings, mm -hmm. and then it gives me like a uh, how to say like a, a connection. A connection. Yeah. yeah, it's a connections between the canvas and me, and then and then it comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, do you also have um, a message, or there's something that you want to impact with your work? I've also seen that you use hieroglyphs and <laughs> yeah. writing. It's one of your signatures. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Um, it was wondering for me too because it was on the first painting. I, it was there. It mm -hmm. was like it comes from somewhere. I don't know where. It comes from. And it comes in, and it must go on this on this canvas. It's mm -hmm. like a, an information, yeah, uh, which goes through me on this canvas, mm -hmm. and um, and then I need to write. I normally write really fast. Okay. Um, sometimes it's uh, with a screwdriver. Okay. Really, and it goes in in, in the structure, and it come out. Or sometimes it's very thin, and, and, and yeah, it's it's special. Yeah, it's really special. Yeah. Okay. And at the moment, you're part of uh, the Unchained Art International Art Exhibition, and um, it'd be interesting to hear what Unchained Art means to you. Art is art. Mm -hmm. For me, everything is art. Yeah. Because um, art is whatever you do with your body. Mm -hmm. Somehow, it doesn't matter with hand or with your voice. Mm -hmm. This is art for me. Yeah, so basically no boundaries, trying yes. Yes. and free. Exactly, okay. that's the most important thing, yeah. just be free mm -hmm. yeah, and let it out. Okay, Yeah. great. I have a few more questions uh, for you. Um, so you've already mentioned that you uh, love to experiment and try new materials. So if you had to choose one material going forward, which one would that be if you could only choose one? Pigments. Pigments. Okay. Yeah, I like pigments. I have a lot of pigments. Mm -hmm. Always, if I'm anywhere in the world, I I, I, I look for pigments to buy mm -hmm. pigments, and there are so many colors which you cannot buy in uh, already made mm -hmm. colors, and I really often use pigments. Yeah. Which um, I suppose also makes it very. It makes unique. me like happy if I see pigments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, and you also mentioned that, I mean, you have so many layers on your, your paintings and uh, you create incredible depth. Is that also a little bit of a reflection of who you are as a person in terms of layers and connection to, to, to the surroundings and uh, grounding? And you're also a very spiritual uh, person is is that a correct uh, statement? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it reflects that. Yeah, because i um, I like to uh, also if I meet a person, mm -hmm. I like to understand the person mm -hmm. to to know what's inside of the person. Yeah. Because if you just look a person, you you don't know. You mm -hmm. know nothing. You know, it's maybe it's sympathetic or maybe not. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's not true. You mm -hmm. see, maybe a person you think, mm, yeah. But then if you go further down yeah. and, and you talk and, and, and then you can see the liars and yeah. the other liars go away and yeah. another liars and then you, you feel how it really is. Maybe mm -hmm. it's in the painting the same. Yeah. So more and more and more and for me a liar means it's not covered. Yeah. So you, you can see down. Mm -hmm. So that's important to see down. Mm -hmm. so, ah there is something on the bottom mm -hmm. behind the colour. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you.